meta tags. You wouldn't see them on the actual page. They're invisible as far as the page goes, but Google reads them and they are very important. Why are they important? This is the title meta tag and this would be the description. You're basically telling Google this is what you would like to see. Now sometimes it does pick something else, but you're telling it what you would like to see as the title and what you would like to see as the description when it comes up in search. So the way to do that is I'm going to go to the page I want to add fix the meta tags on. I'm going to scroll down. And I have the Yoast SEO plugin running. Even if I didn't have this running, Genesis has a built-in section for SEO. If you if your theme doesn't automatically come with it, then I would definitely recommend adding the Yoast SEO plugin because it will add this functionality to it in WordPress. So here is the SEO title. This is gonna be what shows up on the top. So for this page, usually I just start with the title I had and then work from there. What are image alt tags? I just, I try to add a little bit more detail thinking what somebody might be searching for. This is where you want to try to make sure you have some keyword phrases that people are typing in looking for the answer, especially if you're doing like a informative blog post. Make sure that the title tag is maybe the question that they might be typing in or is answering the question. The description, you don't have very many characters. The nice thing about the Yoast SEO plugin is it tells you how many characters you have left because otherwise it'll get cut off in Google. You've got about two sentences worth to describe the page a little bit and maybe have a call to action. Something that would cause them to want to, to click on it. Learn more about how to use alt tags on your website for images. I, I would try and make that, use my 92 characters and see if I can make a second sentence. But just so, these are the two sections you need to fill out. Then I'm gonna hit update. Another thing about the meta tag title, if you notice when you look when you're on a page and you look up in the tab, there's some writing on there. That is the meta tag title. So it's not necessarily the title of the page. This that's, this information is coming from what you have set here. But we're using a widgeted front page. There isn't a page to edit because this is all controlled in widgets. So in order to set the meta tags for the home page, you're gonna to go to the SEO plugin, you're gonna click titles and meta tags, and you're gonna click the home page. And here is where you can put in the title and the description of your website. You just save changes. Now my front page should have that showing at the top. Right now it says sample WordPress site because it's going to use whatever I had as the uh, in the general settings as the name of my site. But now that I've set the meta tags for it, it's WordPress tips and tricks. If you do forget, at least if you have the Yoast SEO plugin installed, it does have default settings so at least there's something there versus being blank but it's always best to go in and, and override that with your own more descriptive, better titles. But you wanna do this on all pages and all posts and your homepage. You really wanna make sure that each page and post on your site has a unique title. You don't wanna use the same one over and over again because it, this is the first thing Google looks at is the SEO title meta tag to try and figure out what your website's about. So it's a very, very important element. For SEO, this is the number one element, and the number two element would be the title of your page. So try and keep in mind that those are really important. If you're trying to get found in Google for a specific topic, you want to make sure you're using some keywords that Google can really pick up that that's what this page is about. Mm -hmm.